guys and welcome to another video. So, as of last night, more drama did spill out of Sunderland, or should I say the fanzines and, uh, and, and the like as well. So basically across social media, across Twitter in particular, a joint statement was made across the fanzines. Uh, Wise Men Say, uh, A Love Supreme, Roker Report, Red and White Army, all made a joint statement regarding Stuart Donald with the hashtag Donald out. And that was trending across Twitter quite heavily. I'm sure there was, in the end, over 12,000 plus tweets regarding this hashtag. But what I will do originally, and first and foremost, I will read the statement written joint by these fanzines um, so you know what it's all about. And I did, and I am on board with, with this hashtag. I did make my opinion clear on it. But I will read this first for you guys, and then I will tell you what I think about it after this. So this is how the statement reads. For those at the Bolton match, you've earned some stripes. You were there when the club reached the lowest point in its entire history and it felt like it. A few fine saves from McLaughlin stopped us from losing at home to the bottom club in League One. As the chance for Super Kev reverberated around the stadium, it became clear that the fans do not agree with the chosen appointment of Phil Parkinson. When he took a defender off for another defender, the venom was too much for many to conceal. We were playing out for a clean sheet against a team that were nearly out of business less than six months ago. SAFC is a club with a proud history that deserves so much better than what we are currently being offered. As it stands, we do not know who is running the organisation within the club. We don't expect to be playing Champions League football, of course, but we don't expect to be set up defensively to the bottom club in League One at home on what is traditionally the biggest game of the season in terms of attendance. Nobody knows what the long-term plan is, and any trust the fans had in the boardroom has eroded. These are the fans who set attendance records for this division, the fans who have enjoyed years of ineffective leadership within the club, yet here we are, the ones hurting the most as a result of our current situation. Stuart Donald must act now. Things can only get better, has been a defiant chant in recent times, but the sentiment is a flawed one. Things can get worse, and it continues to get worse. If there is a realistic offer on the table, he must admit that the enormity of the task at hand and cut his losses. For our club to move forward now needs change to happen on the pitch, in the dugout and in the boardroom. So that was the, um, the statement made across the fanzines. And then many people, including myself, used the same tweet and made the same tweet, uh, which is as follows. You said you'd sell Sunderland when you outstayed your welcome. That time is now. Hashtag Donald out. Hashtag SAFC. So I am massively on board with this. And I do agree that the enormity of this task for Stuart Donald is clear. It's far too big for him. And I don't think it's... And I did allude to to, to this in the Bolton review of, of the game. The nil-nil game. Um, and I did say Stuart has made mistakes. And, you know, which isn't against the law. It isn't a crime. I get that. That's absolutely fine. But I also said, please do not stand by your mistake instead of rectifying them. And this has become a common theme throughout Stuart Donald's time at the club. He seems to be very stubborn and stick by his mistakes for far too long. There's obviously something more going on there. Charlie Methvin has jumped ship. Other people behind closed doors have jumped ship. There's been so many errors in terms of letting certain players go, i.e. Josh Madger. The contract situation there was an absolute joke with the way that was handled. Then we end up dishing out what could lead up to be around three, four million for Will Grigg, who's been absolute garbage. This club has been massively mismanaged, not just on the pitch, but off it as well. You know, and also the other people have been making videos on this. Michael Bowers covered it, and obviously he makes great videos anyway. I'd highly go and suggest that you go and check him out. And I have a very similar opinion to him when I did check his video. People label uh, Charlie Methvin and, uh, and Stuart Donald as charlatans or chances or, or, or whatever. But I, I don't believe that is the case. I do believe that, that Stuart Donald does have the best intentions for the club. I do believe he has the best intentions at heart. He has the club at heart. But it's too big for him. It's far too big for him. And it's becoming more and more apparent that he's been trying to run this club like a non-league club, like he did elsewhere. And you can't do that because as arrogant as it sounds, Sunderland is absolutely colossal 
in comparison to what Stuart Donald has had to deal with in the past. And he's tried to run it on a shoestring budget, whether that is the only budget he does have, and it's not going to work. It's never going to work. He's making mistake after mistake after mistake, and it comes to a point where we need to decide as fans, when is it best for us to really make our voices heard and and, and let Stuart Donald know, who is now no longer on Twitter because he's hiding away from his mistakes and he's shying away and he's been very selective with who he talks to because he wants to be presented in the greatest of lights. It's not going well for him. Thank you, Stuart. You tried your best. You've you've managed to help wipe the debt with from Ellis Short and what have you. But his tenure here for me, it has to come to an end. If he if he thinks it's okay to look at what's going on on the pitch now and thinks that's okay and then plans to give money to someone like Phil Parkinson, then he is the most deluded, stupid man on the planet. And and that is what breaks my heart because this club does not it doesn't deserve to be on on what's actually happened on the pitch, of course they deserve to be here, but this club is it's got rich history, it's got a massive fan base, of course it's got a massive stadium as well. But we are in dire, dire straits at the minute. And if he keeps running the club like a non league club, then that is exactly what we're going to eventually be. A non league club. And I'm not even exaggerating there. I'm not being dramatic. We are in serious, serious danger of heading in that direction if we continue in this vein. So for me, I am Stuart Donald out now. I would have I actually did had a certain percentage of hope that Stuart Donald would come out after the Bolton game, maybe even sack Parkinson, or at least say something. But this club isn't being led and isn't heading in the right direction and I think Stuart needs to, you know, own up to his errors. You know, if he does just come forward and say, right, I own up, I've done this wrong, I've done this wrong and then says, you know, I'm trying to sell the club or just admits to any form of mistake, it helps but instead he's shutting himself away and he's continuing to stand by his mistakes and that's something that it's unforgivable because we're slowly creeping into a position where we're not even going to be able to rebuild or fix this. So now is the time to, if he does of course, have any offers on the table, any viable offers and and people who can help the club move forward, be it with a large injection of capital, with money or etc., then so be it, just do it because it's not working under Stuart Donald and it obviously isn't working on the pitch under Phil Parkinson. So for me, I am Donald out. You know, again, I'm not going to hate on him in terms of, you know, that he's tried. Yeah, I believe he has tried, but it just hasn't worked for him and it's, clear again and I will reiterate this club is far too big for him to continue to make these little mistakes with I say little mistakes, the massive mistakes and he's making countless mistakes over and over again so um, for me, I'm Donald out of course I'm Parkinson out and uh, I do apologise that it's a bit of a depressing video but I had to cover it, I had to cover it and uh, of course it would be very interesting to see what you guys think in the comments down below um, of course these are th- these are just my opinion I'm not saying this is facts, you know, Stuart Donald has to go or whatever, but this is my opinion. I believe that Stuart Donald has to go for this club to have any chance of progressing because right now we're not. We're going backwards and backwards and backwards and I believe if we, if we stay with this regime, it's going to get even worse. So, of course, like I say, again, let me know in the comments down below what you think um, of Stuart Donald, whether you believe that he should stay whether you believe that things can get better under him because for me I can't see it I honestly cannot see it and it's already been you know admitted that they're going to have to be patient in the January transfer window a lot of people are saying that they're going to have to you know we'll we'll give Parkinson a a transfer window but he's already outlined that he's going to be patient We we probably won't see any signings until the back end of January and with the way Stuart Donald's works in the past it'll more than likely be free signings anyway he'll be doing it all on a shoestring budget as usual and just trying to almost keep his back pocket in the forefront of his mind and that'll be the priority which is the impression I do get from Stuart Donald and of course it's fine to be you know careful and cautious with money I am massively massively appreciate that that's a huge part of running a business anyway but when you've got a club like Sunderland you know, you know and in League One you need to spend the cash unfortunately as stupid as you have to you have to. It's not all about spending ten million on one player or, or five million on another. It's not. It's about spending wisely, but spending the money necessary. If that makes sense, you, you can buy one of the best players in League One for two or three million. If we know that it's a certain thing, then do it. Do you know what I mean? We we need to take risks in that sense. We can't keep playing with a shoestring budget and treating this club like a non-league club. 
it, it, it's it's not going well. So again, like I say, I'm, I'm overdoing it a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the situation. But that'll be it. So for now, you take care and stay jamming.